Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream, and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Lightfall Season of the Deep Intel. And today's video is going to be regarding Trials of Osiris. Now, this is going to be for both people who are dominating in Trials every single weekend and for the novice player or somebody who doesn't play that often or doesn't really want to play at all but still wants to actually get some Trials loot. Stuff for everyone today. So we're going to cover things in the specific order, as I mentioned first, for those who are going to be playing Trials a lot and play often and aren't really that new to the whole going flawless idea like I am. And then we'll cover some stuff for people who don't play Trials at all, but maybe want some of those really great roles that you see just destroying you in normal Crucible like the SMG. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Lightfall content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Remember, any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel. And I do one every 1,000 subscribers so you never want to miss out. And of course, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll have a secret hashtag you can leave in the comments section to be entered into that next giveaway a second time for this video. And remember those secret hashtags, they stack between all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. So the very first thing I want to cover is the new Flawless Flawless Emblem. Now, as you can see, the Flawless Flawless Emblem essentially is for those who not only go flawless, but then never actually lose an advantage in any particular match. So that means you can't actually be behind. You always have to have the leading score. You can lose a round, I believe, so long as you're already ahead. But generally, it's for those players who are able to go flawless and then actually go flawless without ever losing any specific round whatsoever in their entire ascendancy to Flawless. I believe you get this emblem once you actually loot the chest in the lighthouse after, of course, accomplishing this feat. However, if this is an emblem you want, you can get it right now without ever having to do any of that. Essentially, you can get this just by going Flawless and looting the chest at the end of the lighthouse. I think it's as simple as that. This opens it up to a lot more players. So if you're somebody who is reasonable, good enough to at least go flawless, but maybe wanted to really show off this awesome emblem, maybe make some friends think that you're that much better than you actually are, then today's your chance. Now, the next thing we're going to cover is on to the novice players, like myself. I don't play Trials that often. It is early in the season. This might be some new players to the game, maybe some new players playing Trials. Maybe your rank is reset, as mine has, and you haven't actually played at all yet this season. Now's your chance to get some free Trials loot simply by watching somebody else play Trials of Osiris. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, there are such things called viewer bounties. The way you acquire these bounties is by going to Twitch and going to one of the many streamers that stream Trials of Osiris every single weekend. Grenader Jake is one. Go to their channel. You'll have to create a login. And then once you create a login, you'll have to link that login with your Bungie account. Now, this also, I think, only works specifically for people who have PC. But I believe there is ways around that so long as you have maybe a Steam account linked to Destiny. I've heard many ways people who play on Xbox have actually wound up getting these rewards. They just had an extra step somewhere in the process. But it's very easy if you play on PC. Once you link your Twitch account with your... Bungie account, you'll then be able to do viewer bounties, which simply means you acquire bounties through Twitch, which you'll then earn trials rep for by viewing that player who has this 
add-on, this extension, this Bungie extension, like Grenader Jake, as I mentioned, enabled. So you link the accounts, you go, you acquire the bounties on the page of the streamer you're watching, watch the streamer. There's different rewards for different things, like maybe applauding or watching for a certain period of time. And if you're low in the ranks, like I am, these bounties will give you enough to rank up at least three times. So that's three trials of Osiris Ingrams at the very least. I believe you can do this every week too. But it's just a way to earn rep by not playing trials. So if you're someone who doesn't play at all or plays very little or hasn't really played at all yet this season, so your rank is very low, that one is specifically for you. And that's going to be it for all the information regarding Trials of Osiris today. Hopefully you found some of this information helpful. We'll cover a little bit more daily news as we head over to Banshee44. We'll see what roles he has brought on the new featured weapons. And then we'll briefly look over what today's Legendary Lost Sector is. But if you've watched till this point in the video, I want you to thank so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe as I said before. And if you want to leave a hashtag Season of the Deep, or hashtag Lightfall, or hashtag Trials of Osiris in the comments section down below. I'll give you another entry into the next giveaway for this video. We have a Gnawing Hunger with Zen Moment and Swashbuckler. And I had a request in the comments to show all the barrels and stats, as well as the masterwork for all weapons, so I will do that. We have a Nezarax Whisper. Vorpal Weapon on this one, so maybe not a bad pickup, as Vorpal Weapon is still very much broken. We have an Ostringer. See if this rolls any good. We have To Excess, Zen Moment, Air Assault, Pendant Mag, Light Mag. Another linear fusion rifle. Sail spy pitch glass. Hopefully I said that correct. Linear fusion rifle is somewhat out of fashion at the moment. But you never know. They might come back. But there are better rolls than that one. And we have a night watch. Which can be very good. It used to be really good for PvE. This one has kill clip, outlaw, accurized rounds, tactical mag. And remember, these rolls will rotate. For me, it's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you figure that out for you. Same weapons, but the rolls will change, and then the weapons will change again tomorrow at normal reset time. And today's Legendary Lost Sector is in Savathun's throne world. Hasn't been here for a while, as I remember. And it is awarding exotic chest armor. So if you're looking for a good Grafalcons, now's the day to go and get that if you're on a hunter class. And thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Appreciate all the support on the YouTube channel as of late. We're less than 200 subscribers away from 71,000. So don't forget to get entered into the next giveaway. And once more, I'm Wilhelm Scream. Thanks again so much for watching. Of course, we will see you next time. Little.